Hi guys, Paul Flynn here from F1 and Schools Ireland. I'm going to give you a few tips on how to get the most marks out of a verbal presentation. So essentially a verbal presentation is basically a speech that your team gives to judges on how you approach the competition. From how you set up your team, to how you raise sponsorship to fund the competition, and even to how you came to a finalised care design. At the regional finals, teams are going to have 5 minutes to present, and at the national finals, teams will have 10 minutes. And at the end, judges will have a few questions for you regarding your presentation. It's important to look at the marking scheme, which can be found in the Competition Regulations Handbook. It's important to know what you're being judged on and how you can maximise the amount of points you're going to get from the verbal presentation. Teams are being judged under three main headings, technique, contribution and subject. A team's technique refers to their use of visuals like a PowerPoint presentation, the team's contribution as a whole and their energy and engagement with the judges. Contribution refers to how well the students understand the competition and their overall timekeeping during the presentation. And subject refers to their collaborations with links to learning experiences, how innovative the team are, and the impact the competition had on them individually. Here's a few tips that you might find useful. Number one, our judges are really, really friendly, and most of us have done the competition over the past couple of years. We understand that you might be a bit nervous, but we'll do our very best to make you feel more at ease throughout the presentation. Number two is, practice your presentation over and over again. Make sure you know it inside out, and as the saying goes, don't do it till you get it right, do it until you cannot get it wrong. Number three is, be passionate, this is your time, your project, show us why, how proud you are to be here with your teammates. And lastly guys, body language is incredibly important. Make sure you stand up tall and maintain eye contact with the judges. Some examples of bad body language would include looking at your feet while talking, or looking around the room, or behind the presentation, or reading off the words in your presentation, Make sure you maintain eye contact with the judges, smile, use hand gestures and try and engage the judges and be enthusiastic and energetic. That's all from me guys, we'll see you at the regional finals and best of luck.